The iPad Pro is here, and it comes with a lot of promises. The most repeated is that its A9X chip is a desktop class processor that fits inside a tablet. Initial benchmark results confirm that it is by far the most powerful chip Apple has ever put inside an iPad, leading some to suggest that Apple's A9X is now at the same level as Intel's laptop chips. This could change the PC and laptop industry forever. With the iPad Pro, Apple has created a tablet with more power than ever before, but there's no magic or witchcraft to this feat, it just made a bigger tablet. The larger the object, the more room there is to dissipate heat, and the more space for a bigger battery. It's basic physics, and the iPad Pro takes full advantage. It contains a 38.5 watt hour battery. That's 40% larger than the battery inside the iPad Air 2 and about the same as the company's 11-inch MacBook Air and 12-inch MacBook, but not to mention Microsoft Surface Pro 4. It is often said that ARM-based chips are more power efficient than those based on Intel's x86 architecture. That's not true. ARM and x86 are simply instruction sets. There's nothing about either instruction set that makes one or the other more efficient. And despite ARM chips like Apple's typically being ultra-low power, the A9X is clearly not. Its performance on various sites, battery tests show comparable endurance to the 12-inch MacBook. Ars Technica's 200 nits Wi-Fi browsing test, for example, shows the iPad Pro lasting 3 hours less than a MacBook. A WebGL test from the same site shows that iPad Pro outlasting the MacBook by 2.5 hours. Of course, the iPad Pro's screen is slightly larger and denser than the MacBook's, and the two run completely different operating systems. The point is to discern which is more efficient, but merely to say that they have similar battery sizes, similar endurance, and therefore similar efficiency. What do you think about the iPad Pro? Do you want to buy one? Do you think its operating system is limiting its full capabilities? Leave a comment in the comment section below.